happy birthday baba i don't know why they're trending that they're trending the uh, mr president and also trending uh buhari at 78 but let's see what some people are saying in respect to the president's birthday and this is from mochivius she says that uh, all change is not growth as all movement is not forward ellen gas grow uh, happy birthday mr president uh this one is also from dr pam pam he says uh, so you people won't wish mr president happy birthday happy birthday jerry you know that's what he says and then this one is from abdallah ayofe says happy birthday to the most powerful president in the history of africa long life and prosperity to you and your family my love for you is more than anything in this world keep shining keep smiling to the next level happy birthday you see when they miss the world is there still people who love Buhari to eternity. <laughs> they love their we love you know, we love our president. We don't have a choice. I mean, who are we in the scheme of things? Well, and uh, this one is from attractions. The way some people write their birthday messages, sometimes you wonder who did we offend in this life? And this is from attractions. She says uh, Christ's ways is love and peace, no matter the pain he passed through. With the love of Christ in me. I wish you a happy birthday and good health. Like you could have said, I don't know. I just find find this birthday message quite funny. But then, <laughs> that's how attraction feels. And uh, away from you know our birthday celebrant, uh, that uh, boo boo, uh, we move straight to Yeti Allah. And uh, one of the reports that was seen on Twitter is about the Kankara attack, and is the fact that um, you know. Uh, at Governor Masaris is saying that we're negotiating with abductors through Mieti Allah. I mean, Mieti Allah, are you serious? Mm. Well, this is from Aka Jako. He says, uh, We are talking to the bandit through Mieti Allah, says Governor Masari. Connect the dot. I don't know what he's trying to connect, but uh, if you want to think like him, you might have to do some really deep thinking. And uh, this is from. Uh, this is from Emeka Nadozie. He says, uh, Namdi Kano has launched Eastern Security Network to defend the Eastern region from terrorists, bandits, and Fulani headsmen rapaging Igbo land. He said the security outfit is no different from Amoteko and Mieti Allah. Mm -hmm. Mieti Allah. Okay. This is from Nature. It says, Eastern Security Network in the East, Amoteko in the West, Mieti Allah in the North. MNK has done what the Eastern governors cannot do for us. Really negotiating, you know, with our doctors in Yeti Allah, I just find it kind of off. Let me know what you think in the comment section. And, uh, you know, it goes on, people still talking about the whole Yeti Allah thing, like, why are they the ones going to negotiate uh, for these children who were, you know, they were kidnapped in Kankara? I don't know, it doesn't make any sense to me. But away from Yeti Allah, let's move on to... Mm, I don't know, you might, you might see these as interesting or not interesting, but DJ Switch is going to testify before the International Criminal Court today. Yeah, she's going to testify, and it's still in the relations of the hashtag NSAS protests and what happened in 2010-20, and that's what's going to be happening today as she testifies. So we do not know what the outcome of that is going to be, but by, you know, by the end of today, we should find out more and uh, this is from juicy gossip saying the international criminal court icc will today hear the testimony of nigerian disc jockey dj switch concerning the killings of ensars protesters by soldiers in october uh, so that's what's going to be happening for dj switch moving on well some of us you know started this year in relationships pass me the tissue please some of us started this year single and we are still in relationship and some of us started this year single and we are still single but here's the story of a lady who started this year in a relationship and she's single well you know like they say in everything give thanks to god so i'll take the story of uh sophie love she says i uh, came into this year as a fiancé and leaving it a single woman. Well, <laughs> you know, it be teens. Uh, when you know something isn't right, don't be afraid to walk away. Pay attention to the red flags and your intuition. Uh, don't let anyone force you into something you know isn't good for you because at the end of the day, it will be you and your husband or wife. Because your 
you know hits the fan it's the same people that told you to ignore the red flags will be the same ones asking you why you entered the marriage and it's the truth i mean people you know in in the course of the end of the year uh, we've been seeing a lot of weddings like saturdays in fact what am i saying saturdays like literally almost every day people are getting married here in nigeria i don't know if it's the same thing for outside the country but in nigeria it's a different thing like you turn left right weddings upon weddings upon weddings yeah it's good nobody's saying people shouldn't get married but then you need to understand are people really getting married for the right reasons these are the questions are you getting married because they want to because they found that they can this is the person they want to spend the rest of their life with or they are getting married as a result of ah we don't know when the world's going to come to an end we don't know if you know age is age is longer on our side are you getting married because of peer pressure or you know whatever reasons you're getting married these things are very very important because it's one thing for you to say uh you're getting married another thing is if you don't if you don't see these signs and you get married the same people that tell you ah get married now ah i mean not see tolu tolu has gotten married ah she not has gotten married these same people are the ones that will still ask you this very question did you not see that this person was a white beater did you not see that this guy was a liar didn't you see that he was a cheat all these things are questions they will still ask you so do your due diligence like we always say sometimes you might do your due diligence and some of these people are so good at hiding their real self but then let's see what people are saying in response to what sophie uh mentioned and this is from mr president says a uh, fact only everybody is single until you are finally married i am engaged i live with my boyfriend still single we have been together 15 years super single i call his mother every day for everything for then it's the truth you know how people say well mm, to an extent i sort of agree with it and i sort of do not agree with it in the next time because a lot of times for women i was speaking for for the women because i mean i'm a woman too and uh, when women get themselves in relationship they always hope that uh, something will come out of it which is they can you know when they are dating somebody is like ah, i'm dating this person now. so any other except for some other women who do not mind you know ex- extending their tent by saying ah, we cannot just stick to one you can't be eating only about let's have um semu let's have um wheat so that just in case if your bar does not taste well today semu will taste better those type of women uh, yes we know we have those type of people but you know people don't just date people for the fun of okay let's just date some people date because they are hoping that you know this would connect them to maybe marriage or something good and that's what it is and this is from sonia iconic says and learn how not to explain yourself online well you know in the days of social media a lot of people just come out and just you know talk about their relationships on social media oh i spoke to my wife i did this one next thing she said she's not doing it again bam they put it on social media forgetting that the people on social media not just story the one year they just want to chase cloud they just want to hear what you have to say they're not really you find just few people who are giving you real good advice that would help your marriage or your situation at hand so I guess that's where our advice is leading to. Uh, this is from Akira P. It says, pay attention to the red flags, please. I beg. A broken relationship is better than a broken marriage. And it's the truth. Uh, I see some people... Of, in, in this year, there are a couple of people in relationships that we started to see domestic violence, operating, uh, woman beating her husband, a uh, man beating his wife, or beating his girlfriend. I mean, you've seen the signs. This person has issues uh they they do not know how to control their anger they are very quick to beating people what's the essence what's the essence of being with those kind of people leave them alone move on like move on girl move on guy what are you doing with that kind of person who doesn't respect you who doesn't see you in the way that you should see yourself who mistreats you i mean a couple of um weeks ago there's a story of a girl who was talking to her boyfriend and telling him that she wants to go to a very fancy restaurant in lagos and then the guy tells her uh your salary cannot even afford to take to even buy wine in that restaurant i mean that's a sign on its own because if someone like that can speak can can diminish you in front of his friends uh i know and you guys are still single i wonder what he will do when you guys get married it means that uh he he doesn't mind uh making you look like a fool in front of other people so these kind of people need to be avoided and it starts by once you see the red flag checkmate it and uh you know that it goes on and this is from a timeline fresh style say she people still won't marry in this generation i beg this generation don't gas uh i beg this generation uh guys just make money and have baby mamas i wonder how some people think 
he said her baby mamas are begged this girl is no what your peace well this one has already made up his mind that he wants her baby mama so to your tent oh israel uh this is from its king says uh, red flags are always visible if you really pay attention and that same red flag if you ignore it is the same red flag that will cause big wahala in the future through that uh this is from Sheon dream says what will people say what we people say has done more harm than good in our society she's absolutely right and it's true you know some people build relationship for maybe some i don't know how they do that thing because sometimes i'm wondering like, like you guys imagine if you had to go to school for 10 years why do you guys now build relationship for like 10 years 10 years 15 years like so in 10 years 15 years you've not seen what you want to see in that person to marry the person i just think that those kind of relationships are sham like how do i date somebody for 10 years 15 years it doesn't make any sense to me but you know what would people say has really done a lot of harm than good you know any small thing ah what would people say who look at me and because you're not helping yourself you are a human being and you you exist you matter you are very important and that should be what matters not what people say how people judge you how people see you shouldn't really matter because you matter that's what it is and people should you know forget people focus on yourself that's what's more important away from what we people say let's move on to something quite interesting and it's the fact that uh pastor iran came out to say christians must boycott netflix i mean if you watch netflix i mean netflix really helped a lot of people during the lockdown imagine pastor iran saying boycott netflix if you're a christian huh how do people feel about this but let's see what uh, femi jacob has to say because he is an actor and i know we have a lot of couple of nigerian movies on netflix and you know it's sort of a slap on you know uh the nollywood industry how do they make money if you say that people christian should boycott netflix really i understand that to an extent you know some very fishy things might be going on on netflix like some movies that might not be totally acceptable to uh, people of our tribe but it doesn't mean that uh, those kind of movies are all the things that are being played in netflix there are other movies that you can get yourself involved in quite interesting inspirational and all of that but then let's see what pastor Irin he's saying he says at some point christians may have to boycott uh, at netflix i said what i said and then femi jacobs reply says pastor sir I am an actor and many of my films are on there. I give my offerings from the proceeds of working in Nollywood. Uh, God Calling is on there too. It's a faith-based film. Advise me when will we be sell where will we be selling our films, sir? And it's true. If you've seen the movie God Calling, it's one of the very most interesting movies you find on Netflix. So if Pastor is saying but because Netflix is like as good as you say, don't watch god calling but yeah a couple of good movies so i will not totally agree with what pastor iran is saying i think that uh, you know you can streamline what you watch uh, it's just the same way on the internet uh we are exposed to so many things and it does not mean that because you have the internet in your hand you basically watch everything that the internet can provide you no i mean you have the internet doesn't mean you're going to have to be watching porn or watching things that you're not supposed to watch you know those kind of things so it's just what it is so i do not agree with pastor irene but let's see what people are saying if they agree with him uh, this is from shaman dream says i love his reply unarguably one of the coolest actor in the industry and this is from too far says uh, not just netflix it'd be like say we go boycott this entire christmas i never read it about i, I beg the christmas no greedy thing <laughs> Talking about Christmas, I mean, like everywhere is so dry. Doesn't even feel like Christmas, and Christmas is next week, guys. Next week, Friday. Wow. Uh, this is from Chiviole Concept says uh, he has a reason for saying this. Netflix is currently making movies that misinter misinterpret Jesus in ways that are inappropriate. Christians should spread their light to create Christian based app. Well, like I said, we have internet and the internet has a bunch of things that you know christians should not even be doing but doesn't mean that as a christian you should boycott the internet it means that you should streamline the things that you view or you read on the internet and i do not agree with saying uh boycott netflix no there are movies that you can see on netflix that are christian based 
and quite good, inspiring. I mean, a couple of very interesting movies. I can give you some names, but you know, maybe some other time I'll do that. Uh, but uh, remember that you can equally like, share, and subscribe on all our social media platforms showing on your screen. Uh, also, if you want to find out more of us training on Twitter and also happening on Instagram, you can go on our website www.vanguardngr.com to find out more. Ah, it's going to be Christmas next week. What are your plans? That's my question to you. Tell me what your plans are for Christmas. Uh, how do you intend to spend it with your family? Uh, because this time around now, you know, at ESA, even though but I don't open, some things that arise, no, we we'll see enter. So let me know what you think about uh, how you're going to be spending your Christmas, you know, this period. Um, spending with family, spending at work, or, you know, Blessings of people life in the littlest way you can. Let me know in the comment section. Uh, till I come away next time, I remain precious, trippy, and thank you for watching.